Gunner, first of all, congratulations on continuing your football career. Tell us why you chose South Dakota Mines Hard Rockers. It seemed as soon as I stepped on campus, they had a strong like family aspect to the team. I know that their return on investment with all these their majors and stuff like that. I knew I'd have I'd just be set for life, and it just felt like home. Tell me about what other schools did you consider, Gunner? I considered Jamestown up in North Dakota. I considered um, DSU a little bit, and then SDSU and MSU for academics. But mm -hmm. just that South Dakota School of Mines felt like home. Gunnar, tell us about your career plans at School of Mines. I plan on being a metallurgical engineer and possibly design firearms. Great. When did you start playing football and who was your mentors? I started playing around third grade um, and my dad's definitely my biggest mentor. He just kind of drove me and kept my, my vision straight and helped me set my goals. With all the other scoopers playing at uh, School of Mines, did that help in your decision? A little bit. I I just knew that I knew the coaches a little bit, and they felt they were I was real comfortable with them. And then just having other teammates that I'd played previously mm -hmm. with, it just made it feel that much better. Gunnar, are you glad this hard decision and stress is over now that you got it all signed up and sealed deal? Most definitely. I the day I did, I just I took a nap right after that. <laughs> so. Gunnar, would you like to say something about your coaches and people that helped you along the way? I do. Um, I'm real thankful for their, their support. and They just went above and beyond for everything they did. and They just helped me in more ways than I can be thankful for, and I wouldn't be here without them. Gunnar, you led the scooper in rushing yards with 883 yards this past year, 133 carries, 10 touchdowns in your senior year as a scooper. Uh, how can you improve on that? What's your goals and hopes as a hard rocker? Consistency is key, as they always say. You just got to stay in the weight room, stay up academically, all that stuff, and things turn out the way they should. Congratulations and good luck. Chris Koleski, head coach, Sturgis High School. Today was signing day for... Um, Reese Jacobs and Gunnar Roloff. These are two young men that have worked very hard in our program, been leaders of our program the last two, three years. And just uh, as a coach, it's a blessing to see these boys go off into programs that are um, ran by great head coaches, such as Coach Floor and South Dakota School Mines, where Gunnar's going, and uh, Shatter State, where Reese is going with Coach Long. Those are head coaches that care about their kids. And it's just a relief as, as a high school head coach to know that your kids are going to someplace that these kids are really going to be looked after and they actually care about you know, their progress in academics, not, not as well as athletically. Um, but these two young men are some of the hardest working young men that you're going to come across. Um, their character values that they, they believe in, they're going to come in and work from day one. They're lunch bell type kids and they're going to have great success at the next level.